from Punch in the Gym, and today I am doing the basic gymnastics skills you should have before you go into gymnastics. All right. So shout outs and question of the day be at the very end of the video. Let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing you should have is a four girl. Everyone has a forward roll up until they're like four, like that's when they finally can do them. I mean, Sky even has a forward roll. And basically, you need a forward roll because once you first start, those are like one of the things you'll be doing a lot. And a forward roll, you just go on your hands like this, tuck your head, bend your knees, and push and roll. So a forward roll is as basic as it gets when it comes to gymnastics. So the next one. I've even seen babies do four rolls. Yeah, babies accidentally do four rolls. Like they could just be like they just trying to stand up, and then they just roll. Well, not like that. But not like that. <laughs> do but a full handstand. They're just like this, trying to like stand up, just like that. So everybody at least has a four roll. My mom probably has a four roll. So the next thing I suggest you guys have is. A cartwheel. I suggest you guys have a cartwheel because cartwheels lead into these. Cartwheels lead into round offs. <laughs> cartwheels are easy. Everyone has a cartwheel. You just have favorite foot in front, hand, hand, foot, foot. So they're pretty basic. My mom probably even has one. My brother has a cartwheel. A lot of people have cartwheels. And the one thing about cartwheels is everyone has their specific side that they like. Yeah. But if you want to go farther in gymnastics, don't you have to learn both sides? Yeah. If you want to be further in gymnastics, like that's my best side. Now I'll do my bad side. They don't have to be perfect on that side, but they kind of want you to have them on both sides if you go further. Next thing. The next thing is a handstand. And your handstand doesn't mean, I don't mean handstand, hold it for 30 seconds, step down, no, no wobbles, perfect stick. At least a handstand like this. Like where you're like just about up there and if you get all the way up, like hold for just a little bit, or like barely get up there, but just focus on getting your feet together. And, and with handstands, you wanna make sure your feet are together, and if they're not together, at least be like that, where you're like just about all the way up, or like that. And handstands are really important because they lead into handstand forward rolls handstand bridges, handstand back limbers, and handstands of our handstands on beam. Handstands are on floor, handstands are on bars, handstands are on beam, handstands are on ball. So handstands are on every single event, so if you don't have one, you won't make it super far in bars, you won't make it that far in beam. And um, with your handstands, um, you have to know how to do a handstand to do those giants, huh? Yeah, to do giants, you also need a handstand. Because you're on bars and you're in a handstand and you swing and go back into a handstand and swing and back into a handstand and swing. So handstands are really important for especially bars because once you get further in your gymnastics life up until like level six, there's a handstand in your entire routine. So handstands are definitely important. Handstands like as you guys just saw in my back walkover. Handstand. Your feet don't get all the way together, but this is still considered a handstand. So I'll do one floor skill, not even trying to have a handstand in it. Cartwheel. There's a handstand in a cartwheel. That's still considered a handstand. So there's a handstand in a whole bunch of stuff. And I also suggest you guys have your handstand on both legs. So here's my good leg. And here's my bad leg. Not that much better, but I'll do it one more time. 
Yeah. I'm really good at handstands. Yeah, Sky even has a handstand. So, and Sky did gymnastics for like a week. So, handstands are super, 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 duper importante. Next thing. So the next thing is a bridge. For a bridge, just lay on your back, have your knees at like a 90 degree angle. I think this is 180 angle. I think it's 90. At a 90 degree angle, your hands like this, where your fingertips are facing that way. And then you just push up. Those are really important. So you can do back walkovers, back handsprings, um, soft starters. Yeah, and handstands are used, bridges are used on a lot of the events. They're on your floor routine, they're in your beam machine, and they're also sometimes on bars in a stalter and other really, really big skills up until like level 10. So bridges are really important. It's really easy. You just lay on your back, hands like this, facing the opposite way, and you just push. And they're super simple. And you doesn't mean hold your bridge for 30 million seconds, come down into a nice hollow, rock up, Rock up, legs flat out straight, hands down, shoulders flat, stand up, finish, finish. Doesn't mean that bridge. It just, it, your bridge can literally just be like this. Doesn't matter. It's just really, 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 really super duper, duper, kachuper important to have a bridge. So the shout out goes to Jazz Lover. And the question of the day is, should I do one of these, but for something for intermediate? I think that'd be really fun. What about you? All right. So bye guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, love you all. If you didn't know what this was, it was a peace sign, like this, and this is a heart. Love you all. Subscribe.